Imagine a desktop that's as clean and efficient as your code, no clutter, no distractions. Today, we're taking the first step in building a minimalist Linux desktop with Sway WM by using WayBar, the status bar that brings your system information to life. Welcome back to CodeOps HQ. In this multi-part series, we're building a minimalist Linux desktop using Sway WM. Today, we're focusing on WayBar, a lightweight, highly customizable status bar for Wayland. I'll show you how to install WayBar and walk you through my personal WayBar setup, which actually includes two themes, a sleek transparent one and one with a background. We'll see how it's structured using different config and style files and how a simple script lets us swap between them. WayBar is a modern, modular status bar for Wayland. It sits at the top of your screen and displays vital system information like workspaces, clocks, system stats, and custom modules, all in a sleek, minimalist interface. Installing WayBar is straightforward. Depending on your Linux distribution, use your package manager. For example, in Fedora, you can use DNF. Once installed, launch WayBar in your running Sway session by typing WayBar in your terminal. You should now see the default status bar at the top. To automatically start WayBar with Sway, you can add WayBar to your Sway config. In bar section, set SwayBar command to WayBar. Many distros include WayBar in their Sway config. Check it before adding it. Before we move on, a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare helped me become a better YouTuber, especially through the YouTube success class by MKBHD. It's all about learning how to script, shoot, and edit videos like a pro. Skillshare is the go-to platform for creative and technical learning, offering thousands of classes on design, development, and more. With Skillshare, you can dive deep into topics like productivity, animation and 3D, and creative design. And here's an exclusive offer, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today! A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping us bring you the best in tech tutorials. Let's start customizing Waybar. You can find my dot .files link in the description, it contains all the customizations we'll be doing in this video, so feel free to follow along or tweak it to your own style. First, make sure you have Waybar installed. This config uses Fira San Semi Bold and Font Awesome fonts. You might also need Nerd fonts installed for specific icons. You'll likely need to install some libraries to manage audio, network, brightness and so on. Waybar looks for its config in home slash dot config slash Waybar directory. Our setup will use two pairs of main configuration and styling files for transparent and background looks. Both themes use colors.css for their color palette. There's also a scripts directory containing helper scripts, including swap.sh, which toggles between these two themes. Let's start with the main config file for the default transparent theme. Create or open the config file in Waybar config directory then add the following to it. Layer top puts Waybar above other windows. Position top places the bar at the top of the screen. Height 30 sets the bar height in pixels. Margin 0, no margins around the bar. Modules left defines modules on the left, launcher, workspaces, and so on. Module center, just the clock. Modules right defines modules on the right, backlight, network, power button, and so on. Including modules. This line tells Waybar to load all the detailed module configurations from the modules.json file. Create or open the modules.json file in Waybar config directory then add the following to it. This file contains the specific settings for each module listed in the layout. Add workspaces settings. Add MPD.
Add swap button. Add sway mode. Add sway window. Add idle inhibitor. Add system tray. Add clock. Add system and hardware monitoring. Add backlight, battery, network and audio setting. Add power button for W logout. Add keyboard layout. Add custom launcher for Rofi. Now for the look of a default theme, let's define some styles in style.css. First let's create colors.css. Then add colors to it. Create style.css file. Then import colors.css to load colors variable. Then add global style sets default text color and fonts. Then add waybar section and add background color and make it transparent. The set no border on the bar. Then let's style each module. The second theme provides an alternative look, toggled by the BGs button. Let's create config background file. This file is almost identical to config, same layer, position, height, and the exact same module layout. The key difference is it includes modules background.json, not modules.json. Create modules background.json file in Waybar config directory, and the module definitions are essentially identical to modules.json. So, the functionality of the modules remains the same between themes. Create style background.css file. This is where the visual difference comes from. Like style.css, it imports colors.css. But in Waybar section, it sets background color to a solid, dark background color. And it adds a solid border below the bar. Module backgrounds are slightly darker, but most colors, fonts, and rounded corners are very similar to the transparent theme providing consistency. So how do we switch between themes? That's the BG button's job. It has on-click event that runs a swap script. Let's create the script, create scripts folder, and create swap.sh file in it, then add the following to the script. This script cleverly renames the files. Config becomes config background, and vice versa. Style.css becomes style background.css, and vice versa. After renaming, it restarts Waybar, effectively loading the other set of config and style files. After updating your configuration and style files, you need to reload Waybar to see the changes. Simply kill Waybar and start it again, or reload Sway. This command terminates the current Waybar instance and restarts it, applying your new settings immediately. Verify that all modules are displaying correctly and that your custom styles are in effect. And that's a wrap on part one of our minimalist Linux desktop series with Sway WM. We covered installing Waybar, the layout, modules, styling for both transparent and background looks, and the script that swaps between them. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to CodeOps HQ, and drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions about Waybar. Stay tuned for part two where we'll dive even deeper into Sway WM customization and more advanced desktop setups. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.